She was the original blonde bombshell, the ultimate sex symbol, and one of Hollywood's most idolised stars. But despite her icon status around the world, few people got to know the real Marilyn Monroe. Well, our next guest, however, can make that claim, having called Mar Marilyn one of her closest friends during the height of her fame. And Amy Green and her son Joshua join us now from Hollywood. Great to have you both on the show. Amy, to you first. You met Marilyn through your photographer husband Milton back in 1953. You became very close. She even lived with you for a number of years. Can we ask you what she was like in real life? Well, let's say that she was never a victim, okay? She was a vital young woman who was ready to see and taste the world. And uh, we met, as a matter of fact, it's a cute story, we met at Gene Kelly's house. Oh. Gene Kelly always played charades on Saturday night. And I happen to be a great charade player, so I was always on his team. <laughs> so Milton brought Marilyn, and they, Milton never played. And the two of them sat in the next room, and we we're all making fools of ourselves in the living room. They're shy, they like to watch. Yeah, right. Two of them are so, oh, look at that, look at that. So then, when that game was over, I went to her and, hello, how are you? Nice to meet you, blah, blah, blah. And I said, come on, let's, why don't you join us and play? And she said, oh, I couldn't do that in a million years. No, I'd love to see what you're doing. I said, we're making total fools of ourselves, you know. And but Gene Kelly first, and you and, were very good at making fools of yourself. Yeah, Gene Kelly and I Which is the key to charades. Yeah. Absolutely. He was really... You know, it's interesting. I mean, very few of us, in fact, none of us can say that Marilyn Monroe was our babysitter, <laughs> but Joshua, she actually looked after you during the time she lived with your family. What are some of your memories of her? Well, let's keep in mind, I didn't know I was with Marilyn Monroe. I just knew I was with a woman that was trusted by my family who was taking care of me when they went to a dinner party or went to the movies. All that said, she had her own room in the house, and she did live with us for over a year and a half. And I mean, there was a there was a um, a banister railing, and I would slide down the banister railing, and then do a ricochet pool shot off the wall in the hallway, <laughs> and then I would jump into the bed, which was two steps down. So you gave the sensation that you were flying through the air. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you're two 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 years old, two and a half years old. Trust me, being Superman is key. <laughs> so you, you fly in the air, you, you land in the bed, and then of course she tickles you until you laugh and then puts pillows in your face. And then I'd get up and do it again just for the same attention, like mm -hmm. a trained dog, and it was great. So it was fond memories of that. And, uh, and, then, and, and there's... Um, let me interject. He was two years old when all this right. was going on. Yeah. Yes, yeah. exactly. But you know, also, as, as a two-year-old, you also take baths, you don't take a shower. Mm -hmm. You know, you play with your toys and the bubble baths and all that, so she was around when I was doing that, so people like to read into that, but that's just innocent love of a woman taking care of a, of a child of in course. a beautiful way. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah. she was so, uh, she had such an incredible persona in front of the camera, you know, in the movies that we love and that we saw her in. But, you know, we, it's often been documented that things weren't so perfect for her off camera. And Amy, I was curious about whether she confided about the, the strain of her life in the spotlight with you? She had no strain when she was with us. She was totally taken care of. She was cocooned and... Uh, protected. Protected. And, uh, and everything was uh, coming up roses. I mean, there was Milton and Jay Cantor were f and Lou Wasserman were fighting Daryl Zanuck at 20th Century Fox. So that's that year of 54 to 55. 54 to 55, what, right. Mm. What was happening is that you realize Milton got to know her and decided, offered her a chance to leave Hollywood and get, get and, and fight this contract, which they used to call slave contracts, slave contract, literally. Right. Uh, where the studio would control everything you do in your career. And, and basically, she was very unhappy with that, and she wanted to move on and be responsible for a career, mm -hmm. do the kind of character acting lessons that she later started doing at the Strasbourg studio. And she wanted to have her own path yeah. and control her own path. Milton promised her that was what he would do for her. And on he the did. Other, and on the other hand, they discussed creating a production company together. All right, yeah. Because that gave, him, that gave him an insight to become a director and producer, which is something he wanted to do. Yeah. So well, Joshua... that was sort of the... 
Yeah. Your father, he, he worked with Marilyn during the height of her fame in the 50s, as you've mentioned, but he captured thousands of never-before-seen photos which you're now showcasing in your new book, The Essential Marilyn Monroe. So tell us about that. Okay, so um, let me start this over. So Marilyn basically, Milton's pictures and their collaboration together was an exercise. Not all of them were done under assignment. Very few really were under assignment. As he started working with her, he started, he wanted to explore her range. And also so, experiment. An experiment, yeah. right. And so there's all kinds of situations that they would set up together, a complete fantasy, but they would, sometimes it was just natural stuff in the studio uh, with a terry cloth robe or, or, or a sweater, more fashion driven. But then there are pictures where they actually went on location on the back lots of 20th and dressed up as a character like a hooker, as a gypsy. On Sunday afternoons. On Sunday afternoons. And, and of course, people love to claim the ballerina as a setup, but it really was a situation where the dress didn't fit. My fault. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, the, 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 but the idea was that this range of pictures that they created together gave Marilyn a better sense of herself and gave Milton a better sense of how she looks and how the lighting affected her because his role was really to be her aesthetic director. How she was lit, how the makeup was done, how the lighting was done in the movies of Bus Stop of Prince and the Shogo were completely negotiated with him, the director, and the cameraman. Right. Wow. To her benefit. Yeah. Uh, Amy, there's a very, a very candid photo of Marilyn uh, uh, taken during that time, the 55, 56. This is uh, during the day at the pool. We've seen it just then uh, in, the, in the black and white bikini top there. I mean, she looks so happy. Uh, and she's obviously, she's just come out of the pool, so she's not wearing any makeup. Did she let, outside of you guys, many other people see that side of her? Yes. Take absolutely. it away. Take it away, Amy. <laughs> yes. Uh, that is the, we lived in Connecticut. Our, we live, had a small pied de in New York, but we also lived in, the big house was in Connecticut. And it was 10 minutes from uh, Dick and Dorothy's house. Dick and Dorothy. Rogers, Rogers, famous composer. Yeah, Richard Rogers. And that's their swimming pool. All right. Because I would say, it was hot. It was July, I think, or August. And I said, come on, let's go take a swim. And we would go to Dick and Dorothy's. Yeah, we only had a pond in our backyard. Yeah. My husband, always wanted, my husband always wanted to put a pool in, and I'd say, no, it's ostentatious. <laughs> you know what? I lo we love this. We love you, too. Thank you so much for coming on the show, both of you. Mm. Uh, what a fabulous insight. The essential Marilyn Monroe. Great uh, idea for Christmas. Maybe Sonia might put it under her tree this yeah. year. Uh, for a copy of it, head to booktopia.com. Joshua and Amy, you're just all class. Thank you both so much for joining us. Let me add one thing. The Please. book has many of the favorites, many of the favorites, but there's 174 pictures that have never seen the light of day until the book. A true collector's edition. Thank you so thank much. You and thank you for your time. Merry Christmas to you both.